well be nah. I would lie to say I haven't shed any tears in these last three weeks. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel for another weekly vlog. We are on the way to take our son um, to his first appointment, his newborn appointment. And he is so early in the morning. But that's the, um, it's, I think it was like a working appointment. So they had to, I, I either could choose between uh, early morning, which is the earliest, 8 a.m. Or like an evening appointment. And we just decided to do the early morning appointment. With, so that's where we're headed now. I'm super excited to just see baby boy meet his a pediatrician. Which is pediatrician is actually my primary care doctor. But I haven't seen her in a while because I've been pregnant, of course. And I've been going to my OB. But um, I've been seeing her since like 2018 um, for like my physicals and stuff. And she's a black woman. So that's a plus. She actually, uh, I think she she does family medicine. So she's taking like, she takes children and stuff as well. So it just was only right for me to just go ahead and get him in with her since I was already comfortable. I'm already comfortable with her. Yeah, y'all see I done got upgraded to back seat, passenger seat, princess slash mommy. I used to be up in the front, passenger seat, princess life, but now I'm in the back with my baby boy. And y'all, he's knocked out sleep. He gave me and his daddy a run for our money last night. And it'd be so funny because he's a, definitely a swaddle baby. Like you have to have him swaddle um, in order for him to sleep well at night, but he loves his arms and his hands, so he doesn't like to be swaddled, but he doesn't understand that if he's not swaddled, he will wake himself up. So it's an ongoing process of us trying to swaddle him and him trying to break out and us trying to keep, he spitting his pacifier out because he mad and he want his pacifier back. <laughs> and so after like a couple hours of doing that, he will eventually go to sleep. But of course, I was expecting this um, because I know that everybody always talks about when you, get, you have a newborn, you don't get no sleep, which I feel like I am getting a little more sleep than, it took, than I expected. And I am officially one week and one day postpartum um, right now. So like I said, wasn't really getting that much sleep the first few days. But uh, that was just because I wasn't still wasn't feeling well from the delivery and everything. And just I feel like I was kind of anxious and all of that. But now that I'm feeling better mentally, physically, I can I can sleep better now, which is the plus. Because if you're trying to um, be a mom and you didn't got no sleep, it ain't the best. But, you know, you do what you got to do. But, yeah. So, like I said, we're on the way to the appointment. It's raining in Nashville. So, icky outside. I'm so ready for springtime. But it's just be pretty and sunny outside. But we got to get through this little rainy season before we can get to that. So, yeah. But I'm taking y'all along for his first appointment. His first little newborn appointment. I'll try to get as much footage as I can. Um, so, y'all can see how that goes. For y'all internet nephew. Been a few hours, but it felt like days Only been days, but it felt like months We're gone for a year, only go like once Life moves fast when you do what you want I guess I'm doing what I want Hope you know what you want Look like Tyler Perry But she don't love me She's too scary My hope is fun like Jackie Brown hey, buddy. I wanna know if she too down Will you be my leading lady? I wanna contract Get yeah, no know maybe In the meantime In some meantime I'll be doing what you want Everybody beats like Odell Don't oh, oh, oh. my killers don't tell Shut down my mom cause I knew you off the shelf oh, oh. Now my bitch is big to Chanel Will you be my leading lady? I wanna call to and get a little maybe In the meantime It's a little It's a meantime I don't know if you want it's been a few hours, but it felt like days. Only been days, but it felt like months. Only gone for a year, only go like once. Life moves 
Hey y'all, welcome back to another day in the vlog. I think the last time I talked to y'all was yesterday after we left Baby Boy's, um, or before we left Baby Boy's appointment. And his appointment went really, really well. I love the doctor that I chose to be his pediatrician, which I told y'all um, I already am a patient of hers. And she also accepts babies or children. She does pediatrics. So I just thought that would be the best choice to just have him go to her. She's a black woman. She's really, really sweet. And I just love the way she handled him yesterday. So yeah, that just went really, really well. He ended up gaining a couple ounces. So that was wonderful because um, the doctor said basically that a lot of babies, when they come for that one week appointment, they've actually lost weight. And that was something that I did have on my mind even from when we got home from the hospital is that I wanted him to at least be able to maintain his weight. I actually am breastfeeding. Well, I'm pumping, giving him breast milk pumped. And then also I'm doing um, formula as well. And what made me start doing the formula is because when we first got home, my milk hadn't came in yet. And I felt like he really wasn't getting the nutrients that he needed and it was just bothering me so i just had his dad go get some formula and so the formula we're using is some type of it's an infamil formula and he's been tolerating it very very well like he hasn't had like an upset his stomach with it or anything so i probably just keep on using that for the time being but my milk supply has came in and i'm able to pretty much do half and half throughout the day um do half breast milk bottles half formula bottles and that's been working for us i do want to get my supply up and i would love to be able to exclusively breastfeed him um meaning just do like milk only um for me but i'm not going to stress myself out about it um because of course fed is best so we'll just kind of see how that goes and i'll keep y'all along with me for that um journey or whatever but yeah so as y'all can see your girl looking kind of cute or whatever and i did do my makeup i wanted to um, film me doing my face but i really didn't have time because my son he was right there with me and i was just trying to help him do my face but yeah um, we're about to take some at home family pictures if y'all know we love to do like at home photo shoots and stuff just something me and my husband we've always done since we've been together we do actually do professional photo shoots but we love to just take pictures at home we have like a really really high quality tripod uh not tripod but um ring light that we use and we have both have a we, we like to think that we both have a pretty good eye so we're gonna take pictures with baby boy i have on this green robe um set that i bought this green robe um that i got from amazon and it's a it came with a swaddle set to go with it for baby boy and it's like this nice uh what did you say like army green almost color so i just put this on with some silver hoops like i said i did my makeup and then baby boy has a swaddle and hat to match so i'm gonna put that on him and his dad has uh also my husband has this um has a set that's kind of similar in color to this so he's gonna wear that and we're gonna take some cute little photos family photos our first family photos so yeah i'm about to get baby boy um in his swaddle and stuff and just make sure he doesn't need another diaper change um before we take the pictures he's actually asleep right now in his um his little bouncer but yeah, I'm gonna get him, get him situated, and then I'll take y'all along with us for the photo shoot. All right, the man all swaddled up. I feel like I didn't do the best job with the swaddle because it's like pushed behind him, so he may have to maneuver it, or I may have his dad help because his dad's the swaddle master. But hey, my baby, he looks so cute. I like the way this hat fit too. The brand that this um this the robe and the swaddle set came from it's called gala bloomer and like i said i got this from amazon but yeah i'm just gonna set y'all up and let y'all see how we take our pictures when it's been a few hours when it's been like this when it's been a few hours when it feels like months when it's been a few hours when it's been
used to like Halle Berry But she don't love me, she too scary My hope is fun like Jackie Brown I wanna know what she can sit down Will you be my leading lady? I wanna contract that no lady In the meantime In the meantime Okay, y'all, so y'all started behind the scenes with us taking our pictures and it was short lived, honestly, which is fine because it seemed like we got some really good ones from the start, but baby boy was getting starting to get a little fussy. He got, he got hungry, so we changed him out of that swaddle. And I got him a breast, some breast milk. Some fresh pressed breast milk for him to eat. But, yeah, so that was fun. A little short, little mini photo shoot for us as a family. And like I said, I think we got some really good pictures. And baby boy, he was asleep at the beginning, so it was like perfect timing. Because I was like, oh, he's asleep. We can get some good pictures in. And then towards the end, he was like, yeah, I'm not having this mama. So he started waking up. And yeah, why you wasn't having it? You wasn't feeling the photo shoot no more? Mm, you wasn't feeling the photo shoot? But yeah, I really like this robe, y'all. Like I said, this brand is called Gala, Gala Bloom. And um, I like the swab. The material is really, really soft. And I really like these hats. I don't know if y'all can see the hat on him. It's like a good fitted hat, and I feel like ever since he's been born, which has only been like a week and some change, I feel like all his hats are either too little or too big, and they don't fit the right fit right. So I'm gonna go on Amazon and see if this brand sells hats, just hats, because I'm really feeling this hat. Like I'm leaving it on him tonight. So yeah, but um, yeah, for the rest of the night, we're probably just gonna be chilling. My husband, he's making us some turkey burgers, so I'm excited about that because I am hungry. I haven't had anything since earlier. Again, baby boy, of course, is getting his meal in first. So I come first, mama. And um, we've been watching Married at First Sight. We have still haven't finished the Nashville season yet. Of course, with baby boy, we've been trying to um, be at home with baby boy. We've been trying to watch as much as possible, but that's not our main priority. But we'll probably try to watch some of that tonight. I've honestly I've been able to get some good sleep today. Thank God. Me and my husband, we just kind of be taking turns of watching, overwatching baby boy so we can catch up on our rest. So I actually feel really, really good right now. Um, I feel good about the fact that I got my face beat, you know, braised down. But yeah, we'll probably just watch some TV, eat our dinner, relax as a family. Not really much, too much to show y'all today, honestly. But I did want to show y'all a little photo shoot session because I felt like that was something fun to share. I mean, don't be afraid to do your own photo shoot at home, girl, with your man or your kids. Like, get you a blank wall, girl. Go to go on Amazon, get you a cooler tripod with a ring light, and save you some money. Like, you know, the professional photos are always fun and cool to do or whatever, but I think it's something really nice about just being able to pull out the, the tripod and getting your family dressed and taking pictures when you can um, without having to wait and going to like a whole little studio session and stuff like that. Girl, use what you got. Go at home, do your face, do your makeup, do your hair, or take some pictures by yourself. You don't even have to be with it. You know, your family can just be you. You know, um, I used to love taking photos even before I was married. And of course, before I was a mom, I always loved taking photos. So, girl, do your solo photo shoot on your couch and catch a vibe. But, yeah, um, if I don't see me anymore tonight, like I said, it's just gonna be because we're chilling. I definitely, um, this is gonna be just like kind of like a week in the life with a newborn type of kind of vibe video. That'll probably be what I titled it, maybe. And yeah, if I don't see y'all anymore today, I'll catch y'all tomorrow. Hey, y'all, welcome to another day in the vlog. I honestly cannot remember what day was the last time I talked to y'all. I know in this vlog is going to be his first newborn baby boy, his first newborn appointment. Um, also, we did the little photo shoot together as a family, which I'll make sure I include in here. Um, but yeah, anyways, we're picking off where we left off. Y'all going to have to forgive me. Of course, I'm in the trenches of newborn life. And honestly, I'm doing really, really well. Uh, 
not too not really too many complaints i'm just enjoying time with my baby and right now he's actually sleeping so that's why i was like let me go ahead and film while he's sleeping and try to get as much filming done or do some type of filming because i have been missing you guys and missing vlogging um i don't know if i vlogged at all last week but today is I think it's March 19th and it is officially three weeks postpartum for me, which means baby boy is three weeks as well. The newborn, not newborn, the birth vlog went live this past Sunday and um, I've been really getting a lot of good feedback on that. Y'all been just telling me congratulations and everything. So I appreciate y'all for supporting and watching. And I'm so glad y'all are just as happy for me and my family as I am. Um, but yeah, so like I said, today I've just been chilling in the house. Well, not necessarily chilling, been taking care of baby boy. Um, been just trying to make sure I'm taking care of myself as well which has just been a daily task because it's just crazy how like the things that you usually do just you know easily brushing your teeth you know making sure you got fresh clothes on doing your hair etc etc um can be a little bit more of a task when you have a baby so i've just been trying to make sure that i've not been letting myself fall to the wayside and just making sure i'm getting up doing things like i said getting dressed and just getting myself ready making sure i have breakfast and things because the days that i haven't done it i've just noticed a big difference in how i feel overall throughout the day so definitely just been trying to make sure i'm taking good care of myself and if you're a new mom on this journey or even if you're not a new mom you're just you know og mom but you've been losing yourself in motherhood definitely make sure that you are um taking care of yourself if that even means you gotta get up a little earlier which i ain't gonna lie I ain't reached that level yet of getting up earlier but definitely like when he had after he has his morning bottle and his morning diaper change and i just get him that lay down for his um first nap i definitely do try to spring into action and use that time to take care of myself so yes and of course like at um the nighttime when his dad gets home from work uh i definitely and make sure i use that time as well to make sure i'm taking shower my shower and everything and i do want to start incorporating a little more self-care in my nighttime showers and things like that instead of just taking like a quick one and here and hearing up and getting back to baby i definitely want to make sure i'm starting to do like little face masks you know exfoliating sessions and i'm just my mind has been just uh trying to stay focused on making sure that i'm not losing myself um because i feel like it's easy to do that in motherhood and i've heard that a lot so i definitely want to make sure that i'm keeping myself in mind as well uh, because i am pouring so much into my little one so anywho <laughs> um really what i'm doing i'm in baby boy's room right now which is not finished still but coming in the upcoming weeks hopefully i'll get that to the point where i want it so that i can do a nursery tour here on the channel because i know y'all are looking forward to seeing his nursery and i'm ready for it to just be complete not too many things that we have to do but definitely some things that i do want to do before i show it to y'all but anywho <laughs> i am in his nursery right now and i have my bedside Part right here and if you're not familiar with what a bedside cart is it's just a thing that I it's this thing I came across uh came across on TikTok when I was pregnant and it's basically just the idea of having like your essentials for you and your baby readily available for you like um at your bedside or it doesn't necessarily have to be at the bed it can be anywhere where you spend a lot of time and for me it works best at um next to my bed because at nighttime when i'm the most tired and of course baby boy is getting up throughout the night right now i just like having it available i can just easily grab for diapers and wipes and even things for myself so i'm didn't originally show y'all when i I made the cart um before he was born i didn't get to that 
to show y'all but um since now he's officially three weeks old and i need to restock the cart so that is really cool too because now i'm able to kind of know how long the cart lasts so it did last me for about three weeks so i officially everything pretty much has gotten used up on the cart and it's time to restock so i'm just gonna show y'all like of course the restock of the car and just everything that i use on it so yeah and hopefully maybe this will be inspiration for you if you have a baby on the way or like i said if you already have a baby but maybe you have find yourself having to kind of walk you know go to your nursery in the middle of the night and things this will probably be really helpful for you because of course like i said it'll just make your life a lot easier you're not having to run um back and forth and things like that and you just have everything that you need so I'm going to show y'all the cart, what it looks like right now, and then we'll start stocking it back. Okay, so this is the cart. It's just a three-tier little white cart that I got off Amazon. Um, I've seen some bigger than this. I've also seen some a little bit smaller. This was like the perfect size for me and what I needed to do with it. Um, I know you can find them like a lot of different places and sell them. I even saw them like at TJ Maxx after I ended up buying mine. So you may just be able to find one in person. But yeah, I got mine off Amazon. So really quick, of course, it is looking a little messy right now, but that's to be expected. And I know that once I organize it, it's not going to stay that way. I'm not going to keep the expectation. That'll just be a little too stressful. But at least I know once it runs out, um, I'll be able to kind of reorganize it every so often. Just starting at the top, I'll show y'all what I have. So um, this is just a wipe warmer, which I usually have plugged up. Um, I have it plugged up by the, like, by the side of the bed where the cart sits at. Right now, the wipe warmer is empty. Um, so I've used up all the wipes in there. And then, so I have this little uh egg light um that i also got from amazon oh and the white one was from amazon as well and then the little egg light it's just this little light that um is really helpful at night time it is rechargeable and you do have to charge it like i would say like once a week because i don't have it on that long only like during his nighttime diaper changes when i'm not trying to turn like the big light on but yeah um it brightens by holding it I think you hold it down to brighten it and then to dim it, you hold it down. I don't know if it's showing well on camera, but yeah, to turn it off, you just tap it twice again. And like I said, it's just a rechargeable type of situation. So, um, also up here, I have some Aquaphor, which this one is usually not in on the cart. Um, the reason why it's on the cart is because I did run out of my mini one, but this one is usually the one I just keep in his nursery, which is in here where I'm where I am now. Um, and I bought the big tub and I just refill these smaller ones right here. That these are just some little containers that I had these little three pack of these little travel containers. So I keep one in his diaper bag. I keep one in his, um, on the cart. And then I have a, also a basket in the living room for like when we're hanging out in the living room that basically I have one for too. So just so I don't have to have like these big containers everywhere. So this has been emptied. And like I said, that's about three weeks of use. Um, and of course, I just use this for his diaper changes, Aquaphor. Um, I put it on his bottom. Also, like for his circumcision, that we were recommended to put some on there. I'm not having to do that anymore because his circumcision has completely healed. But um, I did put some, I do still put it on his bottom after changes. And FYI, if you're not putting anything on your baby's bottom, I mean, it's totally up to you, but it definitely helps prevent diaper rash um, and any type of irritation you need to refill this also this is just like my little mommy corner um i call that like my little mommy corner even though i do have this little suction thing in here for him um also i have some hand sanitizer self-explanatory of course just basically um if a diaper change if i'm too tired to get up to wash my hands or if i just you know he maybe he just peed or something i just want to sanitize that's why i have this this is just the remote to our tv which is cool because at least i don't have to worry about keeping up with it i have some chargers in here i have the charger to my egg light in here i also have a phone charger in here extra phone charger I have some nipple cream, nipple balm, um, which I'll talk more about like my breastfeeding journey, if not in this vlog, 
I'll get to it in the next vlog. But I have some nipple cream. Also, I have some lip balm. I don't know if it's just me, but with breastfeeding and just after having him, I have been super thirsty and my lips be dry. So, I just have a lip balm in here that I can grab for and don't have to worry about getting up or anything like that. And yeah, that's pretty much it of everything that I have in here. Um, so really the only thing I need to refill out of this box right here is his Aquaphor. And so I'll do that. And then here on the second tier, this is where I've been where I had his diapers that uh had his diapers. So right now it's just literally one diaper here. So of course I need to feel that. Um also I just have these wipes. Um, which, like I said, usually I wouldn't have these here. I would just have them in his wipe warmer. But I had, because I ran out, I just grabbed this pack and been using this for, like, the past night. Um, also, I have some trash bags, which I feel like that's really helpful to have middle of the night if you don't want to get up. I have a diaper genie in his nursery. But, um, of course, in the middle of the night, if I change him, I just throw, basically, I'll throw them, throw the diaper in one of these trash bags put it on the floor and then in the dates in the morning when I wake up I just dispose of the diaper also I have this swaddle here which <laughs> baby boy is not the biggest fan of being swaddled but um sometimes we will have successful nights in it and this is just the love to dream swaddle which I heard good things about on TikTok and I just recently got this off Amazon with like last week and I'll I'm gonna do like an Amazon um baby my favorite baby amazon finds or something like that video coming up soon and i'll talk more about that type of stuff and then i also have these nipple pads basically just to like catch any milk i haven't actually even used these because usually i'll just i have some like in my bathroom so i may actually remove these off of here because i don't really feel like i need these on the diaper cart um which is just trial and error i didn't really know exactly what i was gonna need and then here on this glass here um is where i had like birth cloth also right now i have a little book and a rattle that i just used to entertain him of course he's still really really young but i feel like he gets bored in his wake window so this has just been kind of like my attempt to entertain him um so i may keep keep these two things on here also uh like i said another just burp cloth um i have a little baby hat here um, some sock. I mean, what is this? Some mittens, which I haven't really used mittens with him. Um, I, I have them. I probably should use them because he has, he does scratch himself. We did file his nails recently, but he needs to get them filed again. I have like a little baby file, nail file that's like really safe. But yeah, just some mittens, which I may take off of here. Um, I have a bib. And just stuff like that. So, basically down here, really what I really want to make sure I have is, like, onesies. Because sometimes he does, like, uh, has peed out of his diaper, like, in the middle of the night. So, I do want to make sure I just have onesies here just available or sleepers more so. Um, and also burp cloths. So, really down here, really my main concern is, like, burp cloths and sleepers and onesies. So, I'm going to restock the cart and just show y'all and maybe talk through it if needed. Or otherwise, I'll just show y'all what I'm doing. Oh, I forgot to show y'all this other um, really nice thing. This is a diaper changing pad that I bought off Amazon as well. And it's really, really huge. It's like a huge diaper changing pad. And I just use this for his nighttime changes. I also have one in the living room or anywhere you want to change your baby. You just want to make sure that area stays clean. Just a really nice size changing pad for that. So I usually change him on the bed, of course, in the middle of the night. So I just keep this on the um, cart as well. So, yes. Berry. But she don't love me, she's too scary 
My old bitch front like Jackie Brown. Yeah, I wanna know what she do down. Will you be my leading lady? I want a contract, get no lady. In the meantime, in some meantime, I'll be doing what you want. Everybody beats like Odell. My killers don't tell Shadow my mark of the New York to show Now my bitch is traditional Will you be my leading lady? I want a culture and get a little baby In the meantime In the meantime I don't know if you know what you want I've been a few hours with for light days only been days, but it felt like months. I'm gonna go for you, only you like once. Life moves fast and you do what you want. In the meantime, it's not going where I want it. It's the meantime, it's not going where I want it. In the meantime, it's not going where I want it. It's the meantime, it's not going where I want it. Baby, I don't love myself, I don't know. Leave me here, I'll fuck myself. See me in the mirror, I duck myself. Don't need muscle, fuck my wealth. have it so this is my side of the bed and then baby boy's bassinet is right here um also this is of course between my bed and the bassinet is where the bedside cart goes and like i said the size that i got fit perfectly in my space but of course you may want more things on your cart so if that's the case you may want to get a bigger one than this or maybe you have a smaller space so you may want a smaller space um, I also have like a little room right here behind Baby Boy's bassinet if I ever want to like add some extra stuff maybe um, or even if I need to like slide the car over it slides perfectly behind um, here if I need to so I do still have a little bit more room over here but yeah ultimately I just added everything I told y'all I was going to add got like I said the top section is like me in my little corner with my lip gloss and stuff I also have his little aquaphor in here that I filled up I have the white warmer which I'm gonna plug back up um so that it can get warm so tonight when I'm gone when I go to use it for him the wipes will be warm I still have my egg light um here and then also um I didn't tell y'all which is not really that important <laughs> have a coaster on here for my drinks and the reason why I've added a coaster is because the um, bottom of the shelves on this cart um, has holes in it so I didn't want my if my water cup leaks or if I have some tea or something I didn't want it to get on his diapers so I just keep uh, a coaster on here to put like drinks and stuff on usually I have my water cup here at, at night um, and then also, I've refilled his diapers. If anybody's interested, I use the Millie Moon diapers, and so far, so good. I really have been loving them. Um, I think we've had like one blowout since he's been born, and I don't even think these were the diapers we were using um, at the time. I think it may have been like one of those newborn diapers from the hospital. Um, but yeah, Millie Moon diapers. I put the um, changing pad back on here. Also, I have the um trash bags here and then at the bottom tier i just put as y'all saw i put um onesies i put some sleepers um i also have birth cloths and then also two different types of swaddles which like i said my son is not the biggest on being swaddled but we are trying to get him to like them so we do try to put him in them at least a few times a week just so that we can um, get him acquainted. But he loves his arms and he loves his hands, even though they keep him up at night. So that's a whole another conversation we can talk about um, later down the line. 
and then also i added that book back on there and also the rattle just in case i ever want to entertain him or whatever so the only other thing that i think i would add on here that i've been thinking about adding is um, maybe like some snacks something small maybe some teddy grams or some crackers just something i can have here if i do get hungry in the middle of the night or if i get nap trapped <laughs> where he's laying on me and I'm, you know, I'm tired and I just don't feel like getting up and getting you something. So I may add some snacks, which I do have some space, a little, just a little bit of space here, or I could even add it on either one of these tiers. I mean, neither one of my tiers are completely uh, packed. So I'll probably add some little snacks on here eventually. Maybe I'll do, when I do my grocery order for this week, I'll keep that in mind and order me some stuff to have there. Um, and like I said, in drink, drink wise, I usually have my um, water bottle here, so I'm pretty good usually on lip fluids. I don't really ever need anything, but if it's you or whatever, you can add some, maybe some bottles of water or something. But yes, y'all, this is my best side car. I've been wanting to show y'all this, and I thought this was the perfect opportunity to just show y'all what I have on mine. Um, I'd be interested in if you want to leave a comment down below if you have a bedside side car yourself or if you've ever done this for you and your baby and like maybe something that I may be missing that I could add on here. So I'm open to suggestions, but yeah, baby boy, I've been hearing him. He sounds like he may be waking up. He's in his swing. So I'm going to get him up in a minute and probably feed him. I need to pump. Also, I have some things around the house I need to do. I need to fold some laundry, put a uh, load in the um, dishwasher, just a couple things. I don't know if I'm going to film that or not because um, my hands might be tied. But yeah, if I don't see y'all for the rest of today, I'll try to make sure I pick up the camera tomorrow. I do want to wrap this vlog up either today or tomorrow so that we can move on to the next vlog and I can start showing y'all some other stuff. But yeah, y'all, um, I'll see y'all either a little later, like I said, tomorrow. Hey y'all, welcome to another day in the vlog. I'm actually coming on here just to end the vlog out. Y'all, why was I recording for like five minutes talking to y'all and realized that the camera was faced the wrong way? Okay, just letting you know that's how that's how much sleep I'm getting at this point. Because <laughs> I'm just losing it. But no, I'm good. Um, really, I was just ranting about this newborn life and just how I'm feeling overall. I'm three weeks postpartum as of Tuesday. Today is, I think, March. Thursday, March 21st. Yeah, I was just telling y'all basically how uh, I'm just trying to soak up these moments with him and just, you know, making sure I'm taking all the photos and just, you know, cuddling with him and everything because I know that um, even though I am exhausted, that this time of his life and my life will go by faster than, you know, you think and you blink your eyes and your baby is five years old and you'll be like, what, what in the world happened? So... I'm just trying to soak everything in. Mentally, I feel like I am doing um, pretty well. You know, I have a lot to say. I haven't shed any tears in these last three weeks. But overall, like I said, I just think that's just my emotions postpartum. I don't feel like I'm experiencing any type of depression or anything. And my mom makes sure she checks on me every day and just asks me how I'm feeling. And, every, and I really appreciate that. So shout out to you, mom. I know you're going you gonna to be watching this. I appreciate you checking in on your baby. Your baby. <laughs> <clears throat> but uh yeah i just trying to you know make sure i'm taking i said or, uh, i told y'all the other day make sure i'm taking care of myself and just make sure you know that i'm present everything and um you know it's not necessarily easy and i didn't ever expect this season to be easy i know it's worth it and for my perfect little angel baby boy who is so spoiled by the way and i'm like i, I swear that i was like i'm not the one who did it he came out this way but y'all he <laughs> this morning i um i got got his bottle or whatever and fed him changed him and i put him in his swing and so i could get ready for the day hence aka put on a fresh pair of pajamas and you know the bare minimum really <laughs> And tried to make me some breakfast. And by the time I got halfway through making my breakfast, he was uh, crying. So, he wanted me to come pick him up. And, yeah. You want mama to come pick you up? Yeah. <laughs> so, 
really he's just sleep. He's tired. He needs his morning nap. And of course he's looking for me, my arms to help him assist him in going to sleep. But yeah, that's to be expected. He's only three weeks old or whatever. I'm not finna be trying to sleep train him and all this stuff this early on. I feel like it doesn't it's not gonna stick anyway. Um so I'm like I say I'm just embracing the moment, seeing just making sure that I'm pretty much giving him what he wants at this point. <laughs> so yeah, y'all. Um, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog out. If you're new here, please consider subscribing, like the video, share with someone that you love or someone you think that likes this type of content. Um, like I said, I definitely want to be on the ball and try to upload every week. Now, because I know I skipped like a couple weeks in between of my last few vlogs. And, and of course, that was because I was having the baby and everything, which I know y'all understand. Yeah, y'all. So I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye. Say bye bye. But she don't love me, she's too scary My hope is fun like Jackie Brown I wanna know what she's down Will you be my leading lady? I want a contract, get no lady In the meantime In the meantime